Lisa McVeigh sat in the dimly lit room, her body still trembling from the horrific ordeal she had just endured. The events of the past 24 hours had left her in a state of shock and disbelief. She couldn't believe that she was now sitting in her own home, safe and sound, after the unimaginable nightmare she had experienced. As she tried to process what had happened, Lisa's mind kept going back to the unusual agreement she had made with her kidnapper. It was a decision she had made in a moment of desperation, a desperate plea for mercy that had somehow worked. She couldn't help but wonder why he had let her go, why he had agreed to her request. The memory of that moment played over and over in her mind. She had been on the brink of giving up, ready to succumb to the darkness that had enveloped her life. But something inside her had fought back, a flicker of hope that refused to be extinguished. It was in that moment that she had made the decision to beg for mercy, to plead with her captor to release her. She had looked into his eyes, filled with fear and desperation, and begged him to let her go. She had pleaded with him, her voice trembling, her words filled with a raw vulnerability that she had never known before. And to her surprise, he had listened. He had actually listened. The man had hesitated for a moment, his eyes searching hers, as if trying to decipher something. And then, without a word, he had untied her and set her free. Lisa couldn't understand why he had let her go, why he had shown her mercy when he had shown none to his other victims. It was a mystery that haunted her, a question that begged for an answer. Returning home, Lisa had hoped for comfort and understanding from her family and friends. But instead, she was met with disbelief and skepticism. No one believed her story, thinking it was a desperate cry for attention or a figment of her imagination. The only person who seemed to take her seriously was Detective Mark Thompson. Detective Thompson had been assigned to Lisa's case, and from the moment he met her, he could sense the truth in her words. He had seen the pain and trauma etched on her face, the haunted look in her eyes. He knew that there was more to her story than met the eye. As Lisa recounted her ordeal to Detective Thompson, he listened intently, his mind racing with possibilities. He had been investigating a series of kidnappings and murders in the area, and Lisa's description of her captor matched the profile of the prime suspect. It was as if all the pieces of the puzzle were finally falling into place. The detective's interest in Lisa's case went beyond his professional duty. He felt a deep sense of responsibility towards her, a need to bring her justice and closure. He knew that her testimony could be the key to solving the string of crimes that had plagued their community. With renewed determination, Detective Thompson vowed to uncover the truth behind Lisa's kidnapping and bring her kidnapper to justice. He would gather evidence, connect the dots, and launch a full-scale investigation into the serial killer's activities. Time was of the essence, and he knew that every moment counted. As Lisa continued to grapple with the aftermath of her ordeal, she found solace in the detective's unwavering support. He believed her when no one else did, and that gave her the strength to face the challenges that lay ahead. Together, they would embark on a journey to uncover the truth, to seek justice, and to find healing in the midst of darkness. Little did they know that their pursuit of justice would lead them down a path filled with danger, secrets, and unexpected twists. The road ahead would be treacherous, but they were determined to see it through. For Lisa, it was a chance to reclaim her life and find the closure she so desperately needed. And for Detective Thompson, it was a chance to bring an end to the reign of terror that had haunted their community for far too long. The unusual agreement that had set Lisa free was just the beginning of a journey that would test their resilience, challenge their beliefs, and ultimately lead them to the whispers of hope that lay hidden in the darkest corners of their souls. Lisa McVeigh couldn't believe her luck when her kidnapper unexpectedly released her. After enduring a horrific ordeal, she found herself back in the safety of her own home. But as she stepped through the front door, she couldn't shake off the feeling of disbelief that lingered within her. As Lisa entered her house, she was greeted by the familiar sights and sounds of her family's daily life. Her parents were in the living room, engrossed in a television show, unaware of the trauma their daughter had just experienced. Her younger brother was playing video games in his room, oblivious to the darkness that had consumed his sister's world. 
Lisa's mind was still reeling from the events of the past day. She had been violated, abused, and held captive by a man she didn't know. The scars, both physical and emotional, were still fresh, and she struggled to comprehend the reality of what had happened to her. How could she return to her normal life when everything had changed? Amidst the chaos of her thoughts, Lisa's eyes fell upon a business card lying on the kitchen counter. It was from Detective Mark Anderson, the only person who had shown an ounce of belief in her story. She had met him during her ordeal, when he had been investigating a series of kidnappings and murders in the area. Lisa's heart skipped a beat as she remembered the detective's words of encouragement. He had promised to do everything in his power to bring her kidnapper to justice. She knew that she had to reach out to him, to share the details of her harrowing experience and provide any information that could help in the investigation. With a newfound determination, Lisa picked up the phone and dialed the number on the business card. Detective Anderson answered on the second ring, his voice filled with a mix of concern and urgency. Lisa took a deep breath and began recounting the events of her kidnapping, leaving no detail untold. As she spoke, Lisa could sense the detective's unwavering belief in her words. He listened intently, asking probing questions to gather as much information as possible. It was clear that he saw the connection between her ordeal and the ongoing investigation into the serial kidnapper and murderer. Detective Anderson assured Lisa that her testimony was crucial to the case. He explained that her bravery in coming forward would help the police build a stronger case against the perpetrator. Lisa felt a glimmer of hope as she realized that her voice could make a difference, not just for herself, but for the other victims as well. Over the next few days, Detective Anderson and his team worked tirelessly to gather evidence and connect the dots. They analyzed crime scenes, interviewed witnesses, and reviewed surveillance footage. The urgency of the investigation was palpable, as they knew that time was of the essence in stopping the serial killer before he struck again. As Lisa cooperated with the police, she couldn't help but feel a sense of responsibility. She knew that the clock was ticking, and every moment counted. The weight of the lives at stake weighed heavily on her shoulders, but she drew strength from the support of her family and the unwavering dedication of Detective Anderson. Together, they formed an unbreakable bond, united in their pursuit of justice. Lisa's determination to bring her kidnapper to justice fueled her every action. She knew that she had to be strong not just for herself, but for all the victims who had suffered at the hands of this monster. Days turned into weeks, and the investigation continued to unfold. Detective Anderson and his team meticulously pieced together the evidence, slowly unraveling the killer's dark past. They discovered a pattern of abduction and violence that spanned years, leaving a trail of shattered lives in its wake. As the truth began to emerge, the police intensified their search for the serial killer. The community was on high alert, and the media coverage brought the case to the forefront of public consciousness. Lisa's bravery had ignited a spark of hope, and people rallied together, determined to bring an end to the reign of terror. The journey was far from over, but Lisa had found solace in knowing that she was no longer alone. She had returned home, not just to the physical walls of her house, but to a support system that believed in her and fought alongside her. Together, they would face the challenges ahead, seeking justice and closure for all those affected by the whisper of mercy. Lisa McVeigh couldn't believe what had just happened to her. After enduring a horrific ordeal at the hands of her kidnapper, she had finally been released. But as she returned home and shared her story with those around her, she was met with disbelief and skepticism. Her family and friends struggled to comprehend the unimaginable trauma she had experienced. They found it difficult to accept that such a heinous crime could have been committed against their beloved Lisa. Their initial reaction was one of denial, hoping that it was all just a terrible nightmare that would soon fade away. Lisa's parents, in particular, were torn between wanting to protect their daughter and their own disbelief. They desperately wanted to believe that she was safe and that nothing had happened to her. They clung to the hope that Lisa was simply confused or mistaken about the events that had taken place. But Lisa knew the truth. 
She knew the pain and fear she had endured during those agonizing hours of captivity. She knew the face of her kidnapper, the sound of his voice, and the terror in his eyes. She knew that she had to find someone who would listen and believe her. In her search for validation, Lisa turned to the authorities. She went to the local police station and shared her story with a detective named Detective Johnson. She recounted every detail, every moment of her ordeal hoping that he would be the one to understand and take her seriously. Detective Johnson listened intently as Lisa poured out her heart, her voice trembling with emotion. He could see the pain and fear etched on her face, the raw vulnerability in her eyes. He knew that this was not a story fabricated for attention or sympathy. This was a young girl who had been through something unimaginable. As Lisa finished recounting her harrowing experience, Detective Johnson's expression hardened. He had been investigating a series of similar crimes in the area, crimes that had left the community in a state of fear and panic. The details Lisa provided matched those of the other victims, and he couldn't ignore the chilling possibility that her kidnapper was the same man they had been desperately searching for. With a renewed sense of purpose, Detective Johnson assured Lisa that he believed her. He promised her that he would do everything in his power to bring her kidnapper to justice. He saw the strength and determination in her eyes, and he knew that she deserved justice. As the investigation unfolded, Detective Johnson's belief in Lisa's story grew stronger. He gathered evidence, interviewed witnesses, and connected the dots that would lead them to the identity of the serial killer. The pieces of the puzzle were slowly coming together, and Lisa's bravery and resilience played a crucial role in their pursuit of justice. The disbelief that had initially surrounded Lisa's story began to dissipate as more evidence emerged. The community started to realize the gravity of the situation and the danger they had unknowingly lived with. They rallied behind Lisa, offering their support and encouragement as she prepared to testify against her kidnapper. The trial that followed was a grueling and emotional process. The defense tried to discredit Lisa's testimony painting her as an unreliable witness. But the prosecution presented a strong case, backed by the evidence and the testimonies of other victims. The jury listened intently, and in the end, justice was served. The disbelief that had once clouded Lisa's story was replaced by a sense of closure and redemption. The community came together to celebrate the verdict, knowing that they were now safe from the clutches of a dangerous serial killer. Lisa's courage and determination had not only brought her own kidnapper to justice, but had also helped uncover the truth behind a string of unsolved crimes. As Lisa embarked on her journey of healing, she became an inspiration to others who had experienced trauma. She shared her story, not for sympathy or attention, but to show others that there is hope and strength in the face of adversity. She became an advocate for survivors, using her voice to raise awareness and support for those who had suffered in silence. The disbelief that once surrounded Lisa's story had been replaced by whispers of hope. She had found the inner strength to rebuild her life and embrace the future with resilience and determination. And in doing so, she had become a beacon of light for others who had lost their way in the darkness. Detective Mark Thompson had seen his fair share of horrific crimes during his years on the force, but there was something about Lisa McVeigh's story that struck a chord deep within him. As he listened to her recount the night of her abduction, he couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to this case than met the eye. As Lisa poured out the details of her harrowing ordeal, Detective Thompson's instincts kicked into high gear. He had a gut feeling that there was a connection between Lisa's kidnapper and the string of unsolved cases that had been plaguing the city for months. The similarities in the modus operandi were too striking to ignore. Detective Thompson spent countless hours poring over the evidence from the previous cases, searching for any clues that could link them to Lisa's abductor. He meticulously examined crime scene photos, witness statements, and forensic reports, determined to find the missing piece of the puzzle. As Detective Thompson delved deeper into his investigation, he began to uncover a disturbing pattern. The evidence pointed to a serial killer who had been operating under the radar for far too long. The victims shared similar profiles. Young women, abducted in the dead of night, 
subjected to unspeakable horrors before being released. With each passing day, Detective Thompson's conviction grew stronger. He knew that he needed solid evidence to bring this monster to justice. He meticulously collected DNA samples, analyzed surveillance footage, and interviewed potential witnesses. Every lead was followed, every piece of evidence carefully cataloged. As news of Lisa's abduction spread, the police force mobilized in a desperate search for her kidnapper. Patrol cars scoured the streets, helicopters hovered above, and officers combed through every inch of the city. The urgency to catch the perpetrator grew with each passing hour, knowing that another innocent life could be at stake. Detective Thompson felt the weight of the investigation on his shoulders. He knew that time was running out, and the pressure to solve the case intensified. Sleepless nights turned into endless days as he tirelessly pursued every lead, leaving no stone unturned in his quest for justice. After weeks of tireless investigation, Detective Thompson finally uncovered a breakthrough. A piece of evidence, seemingly insignificant at first, led him to a suspect with a chilling past. The puzzle pieces began to fall into place, revealing a web of darkness that stretched far beyond what anyone could have imagined. Armed with the evidence he had painstakingly gathered, Detective Thompson prepared for the final confrontation. He knew that capturing the serial killer would not only bring justice to Lisa and the other victims, but also provide closure to a city haunted by fear. The stakes were high, and the detective's determination burned brighter than ever. As the story of Lisa McVeigh's abduction and the subsequent investigation unfolded, the city held its breath, waiting for the moment when justice would be served. Detective Thompson's unwavering commitment to the case had become a beacon of hope for the community, a symbol that evil would not go unpunished. In the next chapter, The Whisper of Mercy, the trial begins, and the prosecution presents its case against the serial killer. The courtroom becomes a battleground, where the defense's strategy clashes with the prosecution's determination to seek justice. The outcome of the trial will determine not only the fate of the accused, but also the healing process for Lisa and the other survivors.